Hello everyone, Chocolate Roberts here for another video review. This time we have the Dairy Milk Oat Crunch. Now it says new, but it's been around for a long time, I'm sure of that. Um, <laughs> this is a very old bar, I don't know, but no, November 2016 it expires, so we're okay. <laughs> I'm not going to be poisoned yet. Um, yeah, it's, it's been around for a while, this, definitely. Um, but so those of you who follow me on Twitter will know that I'm regularly having this for uh, my chocolate breakfast. <laughs> um, but, I, but I commented that I've never reviewed it, and um, primarily because I'd already eaten it on many occasions before I got around to having it. Um, usually, it's one problem with um, reviewing chocolate is that um, you have a lot of chocolate in the house, but you can't eat it till you've um, till you've reviewed it. So <laughs> um, I think this one I always had at work, and um, you know I had to basically buy multiple bags of copies of it. Um, multiple bars of it to uh, take home so I could review it <laughs> but often they didn't survive the trip um yeah so um well it's, it's, a, it's a strange size bar to be honest with you. it's basically four segments four squares which look roughly like that um of kind of chocolate covered biscuits OT biscuits as you can imagine hence the name oat crunch and it's dairy milk chocolate um basically it's uh, it's lovely um <laughs> Is the gist of it, um, but yeah, it's quite small for what you get. To be honest with you, I mean, it's substantial, but it's small and it's complete with flourishes. So as you can see, it's you know, it's, it's just like a square. It is literally a square, really. I think. Um, so it's not, it's not, you know, it's not massive, but it's quite a nice little snack. It's about uh, 10, 11 centimeters. It's not literally a square, I don't think. Well, it's about eight centimeters on the other side, so it might be um, might be as square as it happens. But yeah, so we're um, quite nice looking. It's it's gone a bit dark. You won't be able to tell, but it's actually gone a bit dark now. It's about um, about nine o'clock in the evening here. Uh, so I'm just going to put my torch on so I don't lie to you about what's um, what the things are. So um, yeah, so 150 calories per bar. It's 30 grams, so it's quite light. And as I say, it's quite small. Um, 7.4 grams of fats, 4.3 of which is saturated. So it's not overly heavy on the calories and everything, but um, I'll say it's quite small, so that's why. It comes in um, a Cadbury's Flow Bar, a Flow Wrapper, yeah, which is this kind of fair. So it opens like so. And it's meant to be receivable or something, but um, yeah. Never had to, well, maybe once or twice I've had to reseal them, but <laughs> so I'll just give you a quick measurement before I forget because I usually eat them before. Yeah, so it's uh, yeah, it's about seven and a half now, so yeah, six one way, seven and a half the other, so it's almost a square. So yeah, so yeah, if you have lost a bit of space, um, oh god, this one's uh collapsed a bit now, it's based which you know how that's what the bar is, um. Yeah, so you have to the top the, the one of the corners, top left corner has come off a bit, but this is basically what the bar is. It's basically two sort of biscuits of with this oat biscuit um surrounding a thick dairy milk chocolate. So same on both sides. So yeah, so one bit's just fallen off there. Um Yeah, so basically if you see on that corner actually you can see what it is there. So um, it's basically two, two sort of biscuits um, with a, it's like a sandwich really actually, a chocolate sandwich, um, and it's it's very nice actually. It's a lovely idea. I do like it a lot. And uh, luckily enough, um, well maybe unluckily enough, one of the biscuits. Does, this doesn't normally happen, but the biscuits actually come off here. Normally it's very well secured down. I think I've just been a bit uh, lucky with this one. So you can see, you know. Um, yeah, that's what it would does look like actually. You don't normally get to see that, so uh, yeah. Glued on with chocolate, I mean, amazing. That's how it should be. Um, yeah, so uh, there you go. So it's uh, quite, as I say, small bites. It's, it's not even really four segments actually. It's probably two segments, really. You can see a sort of divide down the middle there. Obviously, it goes thinner in between. So yeah, normally I try and snap into four actually. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong because it doesn't it doesn't really snap into four. But I've been doing that and it does all collapse, so maybe that's where I'm going wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can see it's lovely thick chocolate. Um, you know, it's not thick, thick, of course, but it's um, you do get, you know, and a good crunch as well. Um, 
So I'll try snapping it, see what happens. So a clean snap, not bad actually. So there you go, you can see. Um, yeah. So let's uh, give it a taste, I think. I'll try snapping it again. Yeah, so done a good, good bit of snapping there. Of course, it's not melting either because um, it's say, quite hot today, but because um, I've got the biscuits, I can hold it quite reliably and uh, it doesn't melt, so that's good as well. <laughs> we stands the heat test. Okay, let's give it a go. Hmm. Well, you can tell it's dairy milk chocolate as well. It's got a lovely smell. I don't know, I had, um, digressing a bit here, but I had some uh, Cadbury's uh, Miniature Heroes the other day, which is a selection of Cadbury's favourites. It um, has whispers in Cadbury's fudges, um, dairy milk and Cadbury's caramel and things like that. And it basically has this one called dairy milk, um, well, not dairy milk, Cadbury's Twisted or something, which is a, a Cadbury's cream egg um, in a sort of seg seg a segment of a Cadbury's cream egg chocolate bar, in a way, if that makes any sense. But the gist of it is, you can tell it's not dairy milk chocolate, it just tastes of nothing, the chocolate. It's just very... You know, the whispers and things like that taste amazing, but um, but that twisted segment is it's just not very nice at all. So anyway, I digress. I'll perhaps review that at some point. But um, yes, let's uh, let's give it a go. Hmm. As I say it tastes. It uh, smells of dairy milk chocolate, so uh, should taste it too. Hmm. Oh my. Hmm. It's slightly melted. Um, you normally get a lot more of a crunch with the chocolate, but it's melting quite quick in my mouth. Um, but so it doesn't quite taste as substantial as it normally will when it's melted or, or softer. It's not melted, melted. It's quite hard still. But I think normally, well, actually, I tell a lie. I get it from the um, just the works um, snack machine, and it's uh, refrigerated. So that's probably why actually it's a bit more hard chocolate, um, more snappy than normal. But I like it a lot actually. Uh, Hmm. Well, that's, that's still a half line because it has melted a bit. Let's give another another go. Hmm. So it's a lovely um. It's a it is a very oaty biscuit. It's um. The biscuit itself is there more just for the crunch. It doesn't really have much of a taste. It's more for the texture. It tastes a bit of a sort of. It's like, you know, one of those healthy biscuits, you know, well, not a healthy biscuit, but one that doesn't have chocolate on, isn't really a sugary biscuit, you know, like um, a McVitie's Digestive on the UK or a rich tea or something like that, where they're not really a sweet biscuit as such, perhaps more of a rich tea, maybe, which is kind of a very, you know, it's, it's basically a biscuit for dunking and nothing else, really. It doesn't really have much of a taste, um, it's, but it's a bit like that. So the biscuit here doesn't really have much of a taste. It's not sweet. It's just it's just crunchy. It just adds a crunch. Um, the chocolate's lovely. Cabbage chocolate, you know, dairy milk. It's very soft and uh, smooth. Mm. Lovely, a uh, lovely texture on the tongue. It's very nice indeed. So basically, what you've got here is kind of a Cadbury's Kit Kat chunky in a way, almost. It's got the it's that, you know Cadbury's chocolate <clears throat> with a nice sort of crispiness of this biscuit. It's not wafer. It is biscuit, but it kind of gives you that same. It ticks the same boxes as a Kit Kat Chunky, basically. Um, but it's Cadbury, so it's got the Cadbury's taste and uh, perhaps a bit more... It's, it's chunky chocolate. It's less... Probably <clears throat> the ratio... Well, in a Kit Kat Chunky, the ratio is probably more weight, well, more wafer, isn't it? So, just the fact it's covered in chocolate. So, um, I would say this is the, this is what this is. Um, I think you get probably get less because it's a smaller bar. But to me, it's the equivalent of... And I, I love Kit Kat Chunkies and I love this. It's very nice. Um, <clears throat> it's just a lovely texture. It's just a lovely crunchy texture, lovely chocolate. Um, you know, I, I like it a lot. I just think it's got such thick chocolate. A nice crunchy biscuit. It really is a um, good type of breakfast. <laughs> mm. I don't know. It's, I think it probably um. Probably four and a half out of five for me this, you know, maybe bordering on five to be honest with you. Um, I just love the texture a lot, I love the chocolate taste, it's lovely. The biscuit, as I say, is a, it's an accompaniment, it doesn't taste of, you know, you're not having a sugary biscuit or anything like that, but it's just a lovely crunch, it's a nice biscuit, nice size of it. I do like this a lot, and there's so much so that I'm pretty much going to finish it, and I think I will. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say the um, 
The only drawback is the size of it, I think. It's quite small, but as I say, it's only 150 calories there as opposed to, well, I just did a Kit Kat Chunky with extra chocolate and added over 200 calories, so, you know. I wouldn't say you feel like you've eaten that much less of a bar, really, because it lasts a long time because of the crunch. Um, and the biscuit's quite, you know, it's, it's, it's enough to go and doesn't, it's not just gone in a second, it's, um, hmm, it's nice and, um, it's probably the closest thing to a legitimate chocolate breakfast bar you can have. <laughs> well, that's not actually designed as a breakfast bar. So, um, yeah. I do recommend it. It's bordering on a 5 out of 5 for me, that one. I think, I think, um, can't quite give it a 5 out of 5. I think it needs to... I'm not sure why. I think it's just because, um, I don't know. It's just one of those good feelings, I think, you know, I just can't quite, I just don't quite think it's a 5 out of 5, but it's almost there. 4.5 out of 5 for me, that one, I really recommend that bar, so it's a lovely bar and um, lovely to have in the morning for breakfast as well. Mm. Oh, as I say, lovely. <laughs> okay guys, hope you like that review. Um, as always, get in touch and follow me on Twitter and uh, subscribe and things like this, like my videos and stuff like that. Feel free to dislike them if you want, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm not offended, don't worry. Um, yeah, and um, hopefully I'll see you in the next video as well. Either way, fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, guys, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. See ya. Bye.